What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over a class of medications called ACE inhibitors. Uh, these are antihypertensive. They lower the blood pressure. So it's one that you're going to see a lot. So let's get started. Let's go over pharmacology, um, what exactly these things are doing in your body that causes them to lower blood pressure. So just to get started, how are you going to recognize an ACE inhibitor? Um, if you look at the generic name, and this helped me a lot in nursing school, it's going to end in P-R-I-L. Every generic name of this medication class ends in Pril. Easy way to remember it on a test, um, if you see it in an order, um, you'll be able to look at that and say, hey, that's an ACE inhibitor. So I know you want to get started on the pharmacology of ACE inhibitors, but the first thing I think we should do is break down the name. Don't just say ACE without really understanding what it means. ACE stands for angiotensin converting enzyme. And then of course you have inhibitor. So an ACE inhibitor is an angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. It inhibits the enzyme that converts angiotensin. It sounds complicated, but it's really important that you understand exactly what the phrase means. And then when you understand what angiotensin does, you'll be like, oh, so if this inhibits the enzyme, we don't get angiotensin. Okay, I know. So like if you're in nursing school right now, you're like, holy crap, what is angiotensin? What is an enzyme? I don't understand any of this. I promise you it's not that complicated, okay? okay? So anytime you're thinking ACE inhibitors, this medication class, in your head you need to be thinking of the RAAS system. And that stands for Renin Angiotensin Aldosterone System. What this system does is increase the blood pressure. So when this system is working right, your blood pressure is going to increase. It's very helpful, but obviously if people have high blood pressure, they don't really want this, okay? Because it's just gonna make the pressure worse. So what there is, is this class of medications called ACE inhibitors, and they inhibit this RAA system, okay? Which will lower the blood pressure. So how this works is you get renin extruded by the kidneys. This kind of starts the whole thing, and it activates angiotensin one. Angiotensin 1 needs to become angiotensin 2, okay? But to become 2, from 1 to 2, it needs this thing called an angiotensin converting enzyme. Might sound familiar from earlier, correct? Um, it needs that converting enzyme to become 2. Um, when it does, angiotensin 2 can increase the blood pressure by constricting the arterioles. And then it also causes the release of aldosterone, which aldosterone um, it increases the absorption of sodium and if you know anything about sodium if the body retains sodium it also retains water because water follows sodium that's a very important thing for you to remember it, especially if you're in nursing school right now water will follow sodium so if you're holding on to sodium you're holding on to water and you're increasing this volume in your blood which will increase the blood pressure um, in addition to holding on to sodium if you have uh, a lot of aldosterone going into your body, you secrete potassium as well, okay? So the RAA system kind of causes you to hold on to sodium, excrete potassium, increase your blood pressure, okay? So an ACE inhibitor will work because it will stop angiotensin 1 from becoming 2 because you know that part... That part in the middle where it needs the ACE, the angiotensin converting enzyme, well, you have an ACE inhibitor coming in, right? And it's blocking that. So pretty much that cascade stops at angiotensin 1. And you never get the effects of angiotensin 2, which causes that vasoconstriction. And you don't have the effects of aldosterone. Okay, so you know the patho of how an ACE inhibitor works now. What else is there really to know? Um, some side effects that I got grilled on in nursing school as far as ACE inhibitors go, um, one of them was angioedema, and that is just like an intense swelling of the face. Um, and that's important because obviously if you have this, all this edema and fluid going on in your face, uh, it can constrict the airway and cause suffocation. So it's important to know in people that are taking ACE inhibitors, if they've ever had a history of angioedema, they shouldn't be taking them. So if somebody's told you they've had some kind of reaction like that before and you're scheduled to give this medication, you need to question the order, okay? Because you don't want to give it to somebody that's had angioedema in the past. So that's one, angio ACE inhibitors are known to cause angioedema. 
Another one is uh, not near as serious, but it's definitely patients hate it, um, and it's a dry cough. Um, patients will get off of ACE inhibitors because of just a constant cough, and it's something that they should be aware of uh, when you're giving them the medication. Uh, other side effects that are important to note, obviously, um, if it's a drug that can lower the blood pressure, hypotension is going to be a side effect. Um, it might lower the blood pressure too much. Um, another good one um, is hyperkalemia, which means an increased level of potassium in the blood. Um, and this makes sense because if it's inhibiting aldosterone, which aldosterone causes the excre excretion of potassium, if it's inhibiting that, remember, think back to the RAAS system, um, if it's inhibiting that, then it causes an increase of potassium, okay? You're keeping potassium. All right, that's all I got, guys. I hope I made ACE inhibitors easy for you. I hope that you've learned a little bit. Um, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, if you want to see more of these Made Easy videos, I have a link to the ones that I have already in the description box below. Be sure to check those out. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.